Good morning. Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this Wednesday, the 19th of January, 2022. My name is Letty Anderson, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. This service is streamed live every day, weekday morning at 9 a.m. exclusively on Zoom. If you are watching this after the fact and would like to participate in the live service, you'll find the link at the Good Shepherd website, goodsheponline.org, on the prayer page under worship drop-down list, or just call the church office for information. So we are commemorating today Bishop Wolfston, who was one of the most distinguished and effective Old English prose writers. His writings cover a wide range of topics and an even greater range of genres, including homilies, secular laws, religious canons, and political theory. And he died in 1023. So let us get started this morning with morning prayer, right to on this Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Let us say together the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 38. We'll say the psalm in unison. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. For your arrows have already pierced me and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For my iniquities overwhelm me. 
Like a heavy burden, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, you know all my desires and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding. My strength has failed me. The brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw back from my affliction. My neighbors stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares before me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. <clears throat> but I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. I have become like one who does not hear and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord, my God. For I said, do not let them rejoice at my expense. Those who gloat over me when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty and many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me because I follow the course that is right. O oh Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O oh my God. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord of my salvation. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from the book of Genesis. The sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. These were three of the, <clears throat> these three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was peopled. Noah, a man of the soil, was the first to plant a vineyard. He drank some of the wine and became drunk, and he lay uncovered in his tent. And Ham, father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. Then Shem and Japheth took a garment laid it on both their shoulders and walked backwards and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away and they did not see their father's nakedness. When Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done to him, he said, cursed be Canaan, lowest of slaves shall be he to his brothers. He also said, blessed by the Lord, my God be Shem, and let Canaan be his slave. May God make a space for Japheth, and let him live in the tents of Shem, and let Canaan be his slave. After the flood, Noah lived for 350 years. All the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together our second canticle this morning, the third song of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, and deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. 
Nations will stream to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> <clears throat> Our second lesson this morning is from the Gospel of John. After this, Jesus and his disciples went into the Judean countryside, and he spent some time there with them and baptized. John was also baptizing at Enon near Salim, because water was abundant there, and people kept coming and were being baptized. John, of course, had not yet been thrown into prison. Now a discussion about purification arose between John's disciples and a Jew. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the one who, you was, who was with you across the Jordan, to whom you testified, he is here baptizing and all are going to him. John answered, no one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven. You yourselves are my witness that I said, I am not the Messiah, but I have been sent ahead of him. He who is, has the bride is the bridegroom, the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him, rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. <clears throat> For this reason, my joy has been fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks about earthly things. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, yet no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this that God is true. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the spirit without measure. The father loves the son and has placed all things in his hands. Whoever believes in the son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the son will not see life, but must endure God's wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our third canticle this morning is the song of Zechariah. Let us say the song of Zechariah in unison. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, 
The dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the collect appointed for today is the collect from the second Sunday after the Epiphany. <clears throat> Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, is the light of the world, grant that your people illumined by your word and sacraments, may shine with the radiance of Christ's glory, that he may be known, worshiped, and obeyed to the ends of the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the collect to commemorate Wolfston of Worcester. Bishop 1095. Almighty God, whose only begotten Son led captivity captive and gave gifts to your people, multiply among us faithful pastors who, like your holy Bishop Wolfston, will give courage to those who are oppressed and held in bondage, and bring us all, we pray, into the true freedom of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light rises up in darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to, have what, <clears throat> to ask what you would have us do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices and that in your light we may see light 
and in your straight path may not stumble. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray today for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly with those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering especially the Diocese of Juba, South Sudan, the Most Reverend Justin Body Arama, Archbishop and Primate. We also pray for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of Haiti, the Right Reverend Jean Zaché de Rassin, Bishop. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray also for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially <clears throat> Joe, Leslie, Richard, Madeline, Patty and family, Shirley, Pam, Janet, Tom, Sally, Janet, Alice's family, Mike and Alicia and family, Mary, Tindy, Marge, Stephen and Jennifer, Christian, Marie and family, Allison and family, Keith and Janet, Susan, Roy, Sarah, Jeff, Frank, Becky's family, Patricia, Elaine, Priscilla, Steve, and Joey. We also pray today for our GROW Ministries, remembering especially our Sunday school, that the pre-K through fifth grade children may learn about Christian tradition in a loving and nurturing environment, and the nursery, that infants at Good Shepherd may receive nurturing care while their parents attend Sunday Eucharist. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of your grace, that they may truly please you, pour upon them the continual dew of your blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'd like to welcome everybody this morning. Ian, welcome, Joan, Kathy, Pete and Julie, and Wendy. So glad you all are joining us this morning. And at this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. <clears throat> this morning, Ian asked us to play for, pray for Good Shepherd's clergy, staff, and congregation as they negotiate our church calendar with COVID restrictions. And it has been very challenging as a staff person, I can say that. Um, but thankfully we are all doing the best we can and we're having church and people are gathering on Zoom like this today. So thank you all for tuning in today. And I would of course like to pray for everyone who is suffering from COVID, who is caring for someone with COVID, who is in the hospital, who may be a frontline caregiver. They all need our prayers. And we pray that soon this rush of COVID will be over and that we will be on the downswing from the um, numbers that we have right now. Let us conclude with the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord 
to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you Thanks, all Letty. for joining us this morning. It's been lovely. I'm very sorry about the beginning with the muted button, but now I think we took care of it. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week.